Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to be starting episode one of a new series called The Hitchhiker's Guide to Detour Modding. Um, so as the name might suggest, we're going to go over everything from A to Z on Diablo 2 Resurrected, uh, starting your own mod, kind of getting involved in the scene, all that sorts of stuff. Um, so uh, I do want to start off by letting you know, because it's a series, uh, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, Liking and subscribing definitely helps uh, let you know when the, the next video is out. Um, so go ahead and do that now, get that out of the way, and let's roll into the very first topic. Um, so the first thing we're going to go over is the new file types. Um, so these file types are new to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Um, a lot of them are fairly simple, but you do need to know kind of what parts or what file types when you're starting your mod. Um, so you can easily kind of tackle what you're trying to do um, and understand exactly, uh, you know, how you need to approach that. Um, so the first file type we'll go into is just a sprite. Uh, this is probably the most basic uh, file type. It's a, just a 2D image um, that's very similar to like a GIF. Um, so it can store multiple frames. Um, so for example, might be uh, an orb. Um, so these are multiple frames um, and just like a GIF, you play them all in sequence and now it looks like an animation. Um, so you can use it in that effect. They can also use multiple frames as different image references. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, let's take a look at like our mini menu uh, buttons here. Um, they can either look bright when you have the mouse over them when they're active. Um, they can be, you know, slightly duller when they're not active uh, or when they're not selected, but they're still active. Or they can be like a grayed out when they're not active because they're not enabled. Um, so you can have several states on a single image. Um, and again, you can kind of spread that out over the frame so that Diablo 2 knows uh, to use certain frames when it's in a certain state. Um, and then finally, you can use it as a more simple uh, image where there are no frames other than the one. Um, and it's just your standard kind of image. And this will be used for a lot of the different, uh, you know, inventory items or some of the panels, things like that. Um, but essentially, it, it is relatively simple. It's just a series of images um, if it uses multiple frames, and it has kind of different purposes for that. Um, it can be easily edited with a third-party program uh, called Sprite Edit or Sprite Editor. Um, that'll let you easily convert it to like a JPEG or a PNG that you can use Photoshop or GIMP or whatever, uh, edit your image how you like. Um, so again, maybe you're adding a new sword or something, you can go ahead and uh, just convert it back to a sprite when you're done with your edits. Um, so with that said, let's move on right on to the next file type, which is going to be a JSON. Um, this is the only kind of standard file format that you're going to find in Resurrected. Everything else, you're going to have to do some converting uh, to and from to, to edit. This one is a very kind of standard file format. So I would recommend using something like Visual Studio Code um, or some of you Notepad++ users, things like that. Um, this is going to be the primary method of editing anything in Resurrected. Um, yes, you're still going to have your kind of legacy .text edits to, to change, you know, stat values and all that kind of stuff. But if you're changing any, if you're adding anything new, uh, as far as a, a new skill, a new um, visual, a new item, uh, it's all going to be kind of, you're all going to have to touch a touch on that in JSON. Um, so with that said, let's just go ahead and pull up an example JSON file. This is the bank expansion layout HD.json. Um, it can sounds complicated, but it's essentially just your, your stash uh, panel in game. So, uh, you know, when I go over here and go into my stash, I'm now in my bank uh, because I'm playing expansion. I'm using the big bank expansion. And because I'm playing Resurrected, it's the HD version. So um, anyways, with that said, you can see it's a kind of very standard uh, coding format. Um, the, it's not a lot of complicated um, jargon on, or whatnot on, on, you know, what things do what. Um, you can see that, you know, tab count four, uh, you can surmise what that does and how to edit it. Um, this will determine things like the uh, panel position. This will determine like what frames to use um, for the image, um, what names to give all the different tabs. Um, so you can start breaking this down and start editing, you know, different panels and different things to your liking. Uh, but this is the kind of JSON format um, and every single 
thing in this JSON, even though it is a standard file format, it is hard coded to the XE on what it's allowed to do. And what I mean by that is everything is controlled by a widget. Um, and so the actual game will understand what a tab bar widget uh, is allowed to do as far as what the game reads. Um, and so it will read things like this, um, but it will only read things like that. And you don't really have the ability to just add whatever you want into the JSON. There are some limits, but other than that, it is kind of uh, very modifiable and you can copy and paste and you can, you know, remove things and all that fun stuff. Um, so with that said, let's move on to the next file type and uh, start talking about textures. Um, so now we start getting into more kind of the resurrected, uh, you know, new 3D kind of aspects. Um, so a texture is similar to a sprite in that it's just a 2D image format. Um, however, this is uh, there, you won't find multiple frames. It's always just like a, a single frame, but these are going to be used uh, for models and particles. Um, and what I mean by that is this is what gives them both the color and the aesthetics for those. So an example might be a model file. Um, let's take like a giant a great sword or something as an example. The actual model will just be kind of all gray or such. Um, it won't have any color or anything to it. You can tell it's clearly a sword, uh, but it, it has no definition or, or kind of look to it. Um, so the texture will take this 2D image, it's usually just a square, it will take this 2D image and kind of wrap it around that model. And now all of a sudden you have, you know, a golden brown hilt with a silver blade or, or whatever, you know, aesthetic it's going for. Um, and that applies the same for the particle although particles do have some different effects and some different applications of, of masks and textures. Um, we won't go into all that in this video, but we will absolutely break down all these file types more specifically in uh, each of their own videos. Um, but for now, just understand textures are essentially just images, but because they're wrapped around these models or particles, um, how you interact with them might change a little bit. Um, and some of the, there's limitations there because of that. Um, so now that we've started talking about them, let's move on to models. Um, models are anything basically 3D in the game. So if we're talking about our actual player, um, our character model, if we're talking about NPCs, monsters, a rock that's you know sitting in the middle of town, a tiki torch, a banner, um, these are all models. Anything that just kind of has depth or, or some 3D kind of representation is a model. Um, and now that we understand textures, we know that, you know, if, if I take this banner, for example, um, it's really uh, just a gray model with a texture wrapped around it to make it look like a banner and a, you know, sitting on a pole. Um, without that texture wrapped around it, you'd have a very different looking model here. Um, but that is essentially what a model is, is just a, a 3D format to, to represent anything kind of outside of a UI panel. Um, there's not currently a program to directly edit these. Um, however, we can export them, uh, you know, so that you can uh, mess with them in Blender or, you know, similar programs. Um, importing is the big issue right now. Uh, there are some talented people who have managed to import models, um, but there are no public tools or anything I'm, I'm aware of. Uh, that are available to, to, to freely edit that and, and accomplish that currently. So right now it's essentially locked down in that uh, realistically, unless you're you know part of the people who know how to do that, that kind of model manipulation as far as the math goes, um, you're restricted to editing textures to change the look of a model and not editing the model itself. So you're not going to be importing Pikachu or, or Goku or something from, you know, something else into Resurrected, at least not yet. Um, and a similar uh, thing follows for particles. So particles are going to be anything in the game that, that's like an effect. Um, so if you have um, a battle cry that's going out um, and it, it changes over time, it's an aura, um, it's a blood splatter, it's a death animation, um, anything like that, uh, it's all going to be a particle. Um, and similar to models, 
most of the particles um, will use a texture um, to give them additional colors or characteristics um, that, a, that a flat color, you know, wouldn't provide. Um, so you can't edit this directly, so you won't be able to change something like the particle scale or maybe add more or less lightning bolts, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but you can edit the texture for that particle um, to change the color or the aesthetics in, in fashion. Um, luckily, because uh, particles and models are referenced in JSON, um, there is some additional manipulation you can do from within JSON to these models models and particles but again as far as like a brand new model or particle uh, that's not in the future quite yet um, but with that uh, breaking broken down we've kind of discussed all the new file types to diablo 2 resurrected um, obviously dot text is still the primary way to edit anything from legacy that affects like gameplay um, so again actual stat values or or uh, string references, all that kind of stuff. It's going to start in dot text, um, so you're still going to want to get familiar with that. And we will have a video going over dot text edits and all that as well. Um, but as far as new to Diablo 2 Resurrected, uh, these are the guys you're going to want to be familiar with and just how they interact. Um, definitely stay tuned to the channel later if you want to uh, see the videos for the breakdown on each file type. Um, but I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Again, this was episode one of the Hitchhiker's Guide to D2R Modding. And uh, I hope you will enjoy the next 15, 20 episodes. Uh, it's going to take quite a bit to cover everything in depth. Um, but I hope you guys en enjoy the series. And uh, thank you for sticking around to the end. Take care.